On <clears throat> another matter, I, I see you, I, I think you agree that our superannuation is the envy of the world. I think it's the opposite of that. I mean, certainly our superannuation industry loves to tell us that it's the envy of the world. And of course, for them, it's it's a magnificent system. I mean, it ensures, you know, billions of dollars of workers' wages flow into funds by law, by mandate, every, every three months. Uh, that's certainly the envy of the funds management industry throughout the world. No other country has a system like that. Uh, but from the public point of view, public interest point of view, uh, you know, it's a disastrous policy. And sadly, though, it's it's one Australia's well and truly stuck with. I mean, we've seen successive coalition governments too scared to take it on, even though philosophically deep down, they know full well all the problems with it. Uh, I mean, was it the, <clears throat> I mean, the Turnbull government, I think, tried to rein it in slightly. Certainly, Tony Abbott um, uh, took a dim view of superannuation, but as Prime Minister, he did very little to rein it in. I mean, he did he did commendably uh, delay from memory the increase in the superannuation guarantee. And I think it's currently up near 10% or maybe higher than that. Uh, but nevertheless, it was just a delay. And, you know, the onward march continues to 12%. And the reality is that just impoverishes uh, um, workers and families, you know, during the time of their life when they need their income the most. And, and it, you know, puts it into funds that they don't understand and, and they have little control over and that are just ripe for, uh, you know, ripe for gouging by the funds management sector. And of course, as you know, some of that that funding finds its way into the union movement, uh, which empowers the uh, left side of politics in Australia. And it's that side of politics which is particularly uh, devoted to compulsory superannuation, uh, purely out of self-interest. Well, if any of our readers are interested further in this, I, uh, you wrote an excellent piece which people can look up in the Australian which set out the advantages of some of the American uh, systems. And there's a great choice there, and there are things that you can do which you can't do in Australia. I think it's a great pity, isn't it, that uh, the opposition doesn't do something. When, when Labor introduces something which is just not working, uh, when yes. the coalition gets in, they keep it, or they, they're not successful in getting rid of it, the latest being the NDIS, which desperately needs oh, yes. reform and the opposition no, did nothing yeah. about it. The same with education. Education is going downhill, particularly, for example, in New South Wales, yeah. in the measures of literacy and numeracy. The coalition yeah. was in for 10 years and they did nothing to fix that. that they just left yeah. the system in well, place. I mean, to be very cynical, David, maybe that's a feature rather than a bug of the system that the quality of education is declining because it means the population is less able to discern stupid policies from sensible policies. Uh, I mean, you know, that's a very cynical statement, but I mean, I've become a lot more cynical in the past few years. Uh, the standards are declining in the US as well. And some of the blame for that has to be with the public sector unions and, and the various, uh, you know, the, sorry, the public sector teachers unions, I should say, to be more specific. Uh, but you know, the broader problem is we live in a society where you know, people's attention spans are shrinking all the time and it makes it very hard to make a sophisticated uh, case to the public. I mean, we know throughout history that arguments from the left, they always appeal to emotion and that's what affects most people and sways their decision. Uh, you know, to understand that something like the NDIS, for instance, is not a good policy requires a bit of thought <laughs> yes. of more than you know 30 seconds and sadly you know not many people have that time or inclination 